Hi Sloths and welcome back to the Pixel SMP. In the last episode we went around and checked everything else out and in this episode we actually have someone on the server other than me. Uh, but also I'd like to go and check things out once again because it's been a while. I mean look at all of this. I've got a nether portal now, I've got a little bell. Uh, I have a, a very strong team I guess. Uh huh. I have a enchanting room, I've got this, fossil cleaner, so yeah, I've got plenty of stuff now. Uh, I also have, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? I always lose track of uh, my things. Here we go, I've got a blue badge case and in it I have two badges. The volcano badge and the Karai badge, I think it's called. Anyway. Uh, yes, I am a gym leader, and yes, I have my own badge. We can do that. Uh, so, first of all, I want to go and show you my gym in my little city. Uh, I believe the guy here, uh, his name is Godspeed of Velocity. He has, like, two names. Everyone on the server has, like, two names. Um, this was his house, but I think he's abandoned that. This was his sandcastle which uh, is like a kelp machine, except from there's no more. <laughs> I think he took all the kelp out of it. Uh, so let's go this way to, but well, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, G-A-H-Q, Gym Association Headquarters. So over here we have this, the headquarters for official gym association. Uh, obviously in here we have uh, city rules, gym leader rules, uh, champion match rules. We've got rules for the champion itself and challenger rules as well. Um, and a little chest full of bits and bobs. Um, I, uh, the original rules were written by uh, Cool Carrot or Dig or Mango, whichever name you want to. Basically the king of the server, uh, the guy who invited all of us here. He originally made the rules, but they were all on signs, and I thought this would be a lot better. Uh, so I uh, asked him if I could rewrite them and put them in books. And he said, basically, as long as you don't change any of the rules, which I have not, uh, then they can indeed be put in books and put on these uh, lecterns. So I have done that. And over here we have Future City. Future City Gym. Okay, so you might think to yourself, Future? That's not Future. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't even know if this... So originally this little city uh, was called Cheat City, but I took it over. Um, and it is not called Cheat City anymore. It's called... Future City. Now, obviously, that doesn't say future. It says future. Uh, basically, it's a French pun. Uh, few meaning or meaning uh, fire in French. And oh, I can't remember the word. Something sure. I think it was like. Oh, sure. Or something like that. Anyway. Or was it crochet? I don't know. Anyway, it's basically supposed to mean uh, fire spit city. So, yeah, that's what it is. It's open. I am the gym leader. This was actually made before I... Uh, or at least, like, this wasn't made by me. This was made by uh, the leader of the server, Dig, or Carrot. Um, I added the little uh, boulders because I thought it would be a neat touch. Uh kind of regretting it, kind of not regretting it at the same time. I think it's a lovely, lovely building. Um, so yes, uh, he didn't want to do like the fire gym, even though he made it. Um, and this became the first gym as well. Uh, but because he didn't want to do it, I took it over and renamed it because I didn't like the idea of it being called Cheat City. Uh, this is as much progress on my shrine as I've managed to make within like a week. <laughs> um, this is my shrine to the god of all gods. Uh, 
Giratina. So as you can see here, I've got uh, soapstone bricks, normal and cracked. Or is it blackstone? I can't remember. Oh no, this is soapstone tiles, but that's blackstone bricks. Uh, I've got dark oak wood, uh, more dark oak wood, glowstone, and I've got the scoria bricks as well. Uh, it's really high, as you can see, all the way up there. Um, and that's going to be it. Uh, I guess I could show you my team real quick for, well, teams for the gym, because we're supposed to have like three teams. Uh, so this is what I have so far. I have an Arcanine, a Shiny Flareon, Combuskin, Tepig, and Nummel. I have a Slugma, Fletchinder, Brakes, and Larvesta, Houndoom. And all the way up here I have Chandelure, Rapidash, Salandit. I need a female Salandit Solan uh, so I can get Salazzle, but oh well. Uh, Turtonator, Torkoal, and Magmorta. So yeah. That is, uh, that's my thing. So let me go ahead and show you what else is new. Over here, we actually have uh, the second gym. Or just, you know, the second gym that was made. Uh, as well as a racetrack, which this is finished, but... Ooh, is that all? Is that all that's in there? So, we have indeed tested this out. Uh, I don't know if it's been changed since we've tested it out, but it's not got any official winners yet. Uh, so, the point in this is obviously to ride your Pokemon to victory. Uh, but obviously, you can see right there, we have a structure. Now, in the middle of this uh, racetrack is the Ghost Gym run by uh, Dig also known as Mango, or Cool Carrot. Obviously, I have won his badge uh, from him, and he also has... <laughs> okay, so the other day, uh, I accidentally, like, clicked and uh, ended up putting um, one of these essence jars, like, on the ceiling. So I told Dig about it, and he was like, why is that even a feature? And it looks like he's gone and just done that anyway. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. That's not normal. I don't know what that's all about. Is that? Nope. Wrong Pokemon. Uh, let's go with Chirp and just get a bird's eye view so I can... Oh, it's like a little tower. Oh, okay. Uh, so yes, this is the racetrack and the ghost gym. It's a nice little area. It's not the best. Um, I know... There's multiple gyms being worked on right now. Someone is currently making a ground gym. There's someone making like a water gym. And someone is currently in a creative world working on a design for a dragon gym. Which is really cool. Um, so yes, I got, uh, got kind of lucky. I was given the fire gym so I didn't have to make it. Of course, I'd still have to turn it into like an actual city. But you know... Uh, here we are. We have, uh, officially, we have me as the fire gym leader. Uh, we have Dig Carrot Mango as the ghost gym leader. And Block Mechanic is the ground gym leader. Now, Sync Gods over there is working on a water uh, gym, I believe. And over here, this is the champion announcement stand. Uh, this is probably going to be for, like, other events as well. But, uh... Let me just read for you what the uh, the current situation is. Uh, the Champion's Duel. Yes, I know, it's it's all misspelled and it's not very good English, but the guy has dyslexia. I can't... I can't joke about that. I can't, like, be a dick about it, so... Anyway, uh, the Champion's Duel will be a fight where everyone gets three Master Balls and they have 20 minutes to catch three Pokemon that they think will be useful to helping them win. Uh, no, all Pokemon that get caught will be uh, will have to be discarded after the event due to the fact that the Master Balls will not be natural. After all the Pokemon have been caught, everyone will be randomly given an opponent. Opponents will be randomly selected until we have one uh, player left, and they will become champion. Please note the date for this event is currently undecided and that the fight doesn't have to take place the same day as the catching. 
no legendaries, no ultra space. I think this is a really, really cool build. Uh, I really love this stand. I love the cherry logs. They are absolutely beautiful. And yeah. Um, then if we go over here, I've already shown that off. That's not changed. I've already shown the museum off. That's not changed. Uh, nothing's changed over here really, except when this house has finally been built. Uh, Dig's second home. Okay. Uh, Dig, I promise I won't steal anything, but I am just going to look through your stuff real quick. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought that was diamonds when I was like, whoa, that's a lot of diamonds now. Uh, anything super interesting? No. Okay. So, this is his second home. His first home became quite full. Cool Carrot. Uh, so yeah, his name is Cool Carrot. He's also called Dig, so yeah. As you can see, this is completely full of, like, storage stuff. I think the house is really nice. Uh, the community house or centre or whatever has also increased. It now has this and a little carrot farm out back. Uh, there's loads of, loads of stuff in here um, that we've all just donated. And, oh, Dust Bowl lid, I'm going to take that. And Nuggets, I'm going to take that as well. No, come here. Yes, uh, you can have the Acacia sign because I don't need it. Uh, there's nothing else. Is there? There's a crystal there. Uh, amethyst there, but no. Whoa, he entered Ultra Space for the first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Uh, this over here has not really changed. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything in these chests. Okay. Ultra Threatening Thorns. Which one is that one? Uh, Ultra Forest Flower. Okay. So here's Pokeball Shop. Uh, sometimes we get donations in there. Uh, and obviously, nothing else has changed here. Let me just eat some cake. Uh, but we also have a new structure right here. And this is a prison that Diggy's also working on. Is that a Hypno down there? It is. Hello, Hypno. Hello. I already have Herbert the Third, so... Yes, look at this place. It is a grandiose. So, prison cell, prison cell... Uh, this is probably going to be like uh, a guard's quarters or something like that. Uh, it's three stories high, so that's really cool. Oh, sink left. We're on our own now. Uh, but obviously, if you're all the way up here, you can kind of jump off. Uh, not a good idea. Um, also, you can like jump off from here as well, uh, which is obviously not a good thing. Um, Thankfully, prisoners can't really get out unless they want to, like, attack it by hand. Uh, then we have this. Oh, he's back. He must be having, like, network issues. So we've got all of this. It's like an underground section. I have been down there. I got trapped down there. It's just, like, an underground area. There's nothing, like, down there of interest. So, yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, there's also people who have... Uh, join the world. There's like nine of us now who've like officially joined. Uh, I will show you another person's house. Uh, it's all the way over here. Uh, this guy belongs to uh, this house. Even belongs to Knight Strider. It's like it, it's supposed to be Strider, I think, but I think it just ended up coming out wrong. I <laughs> I messed with his house. His plot of land so bad that he ended up killing me. And Knight, if you're watching this for whatever reason, um, you promised me I could murder you back. And uh, obviously I have not had the pleasure of doing that. What the frig is going on here? Why is it made out of cobble? <laughs> That's bizarre. Um, so, obviously... I had him, like, trapped here at one point. He was fighting a Lugia over... Uh, the Lugia was, like, over here and he was stood here. So I kind of, like, trapped him uh, and built <laughs> basically this. And then afterwards, I just... <laughs> okay, I didn't do this one. I didn't. I promise I didn't do this one. I did mess around and, like, I basically dug up all these loads of blocks and just placed them everywhere and placed the door right in the middle. Uh, but I didn't do this this shape, no. Someone else has been here, and 
I, well, I don't know who's done that. <laughs> I don't know why that's in the wall now. Um, <laughs> yes, this belongs to Nyan. He has two, three does. What the hell? <laughs> why? Why does he have three doors? Okay, so we seem to just be messing with the Night Stider at the moment, uh, which is pretty funny. Is he seriously having really bad network issues? I feel kind of bad for him. Um, anyway, uh, where else can we go? Where else can we go from here? Uh, oh, yeah, let's go to Blocky's house. Uh, I call him Blocky, even though his name is Block Mechanic. And, well, what is this down here? Oh, this is Unknown House. I don't know who lives here, but this is a pretty interesting looking house so far. Um, it's not been that worked on and that's still going. I guess we don't get a lot of, like, uh, stuff going around here. Wait, didn't he just leave? And then did he, like, leave again, like, twice? I didn't even realize it came back. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoa. Whoa, four diamonds. I promise I'm not going to steal anything. Don't worry. Whoever's house this is, I would like to know. Please let me know. Please tell me who lives here. Okay. Um, so yes, block mechanic's house. So he actually has two houses at the minute. He has this house over here. And then over there, I was helping him work on that. Uh, it's a really big house. Uh, so he has like his little apricorn farm going on over here. And obviously you can see... Uh, oh, bit, 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 bit. He's got like this really cool bridge style thing that goes around. Uh, all the way to where his actual house is. Which is all the way over here. I think this is really, really cool. I don't know why he decided to go off and make a ginormous mansion style house. Uh, because this is really, really pretty. I love the green. I, I don't know why, but I just love the green. So it's very bare bones. There's just not really much here. He is still using it though. Do you have any network issues? I'm pretty sure his, his internet is just dead. Let's see if he even replies. Uh, where are we going? Blocky 2. Yeah, all the way over here. Let's go and see if he's made any progress on his giant house. And by giant, I mean, I think I went through like two diamond pickaxes. So, and that's just to, um, whoa. That was just to level the place out because it's basically a big old mountain. Whoa, why is he making such a giant house? This is huge. It really is huge. Why are you here? Team Galactic. You're not supposed to be here. Wow. And a footballer as well. No, rug rugby player. It's a rugby player. Maybe he's an American football player. I don't know. Anyway. Um, where else can we go? Uh, that over there is Dark Oak Forest. Uh, that over there is one of the chalices. Uh, the art chalices. Uh, that is a fairy village. We don't need to go there. Oh, villager outpost. Or illager outpost, even. Uh, oh, wait. Has no one claimed this yet? Oh, they have. They did claim it. They just didn't get rid of the uh, the chests, which is kind of dumb. Okay, don't know. Oh, that's villager outpost again. Anyway, uh, village Three grass village two whatever that red thing is there I can't see uh, grass village uh, Pokestop three uh, light br uh, light break forest uh, is a little forest that I made uh, mainly to farm dark oak before I actually found a dark oak biome uh, home uh, Pokestop one. HQ, community, village. Uh, there was another guy's house that we could go and see, but unfortunately, he moved like 400 blocks away. Let's, I wonder if I can, is he still on? I can't see him anywhere. Wait, caves off. I, yeah, I can't see him anywhere. 
he he's still on, but I can't see him. Let me go back home real quick because he's like he said he's like 300, 400, maybe 500 blocks away from spawn. So let's just see if I can see him. He was like down here somewhere, but I can't see him now. So I wonder if he is simply just like he was living like all the way over here. Which is like a good 6,000 or so blocks away from spawn. Uh, yeah, I can't see him on the map, so he must be underground right now. But he didn't reply, so. Uh, there is one other thing that we can do. Um, and that is to go and find another person's house. I know he's like 12,000 blocks away. But he gave me this, the Hallowed Mansion. This points basically towards where his house is. So I reckon we should go and see if we can find it. Why are you not flying? There we go. Okay, so he is this, this way? This way, okay. So how you all doing? Are you doing good? I'm not. <laughs> I've hurt my wrist, and yet I'm still playing Minecraft. Like, I, this morning, I swear, it felt like I'd sprained my wrist. Because, uh, like, I, I pulled uh, one of my bed sheets uh, to, you know, shift one of my dogs, because my dogs were on my bed this morning. Um, and this was about, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, by the way. Um, so, basically, I did that. And the pain was very, very sharp, very instantaneous, and lasted for like a good 30 minutes. Um, and it also swelled up as well. Uh, eventually I did manage to like go back to sleep for like half an hour <laughs> or so. Um, whoa, that lightning almost hit us. That was, uh, that was pretty close. Horribly close, way too close. Um, but yes, uh, also, uh, the grass villages one and two that are on the thing, uh, over there, I have completely cleared those out of, you know, the chests, uh, and barrel stuff. And I've also cleared out village, uh, is there anything within this chest here? Oh, yes, I'll take these. Thank you very, very much. I need to get out of here before I drown. Thank you. Okay, so let's go down here. No, that's not where I wanted to go. Uh, it should be in here, yes. Okay, give me everything that is in here. And whoa, 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 whoa. Bottle of enchanting, yes, friggin' please. I'm dying, I'm dying, whoa. What is that there? Is that a swanner? Who made a swanner? Is this something that's just in the game anyway? But what is this all about? Did someone make this? Or is this just already in the game? Like, I don't know. Whoa. Love balls. Hi. Berries. Berry sweets. What, what even is this all about? I can't get up there because I can't fly right now. So... I really don't trust this, uh, this lightning. Uh, let me go down here and... Whoa, Wilma. Hello. Uh, I feel like I should, probably should have brought, like, uh, more stuff than just what I have right now. Um, let me just... Uh... No, I'm dying. No, no, stop dying. Thank you very much. I don't have anything on me that can... Uh... Surf on the water. I don't have, like, a, a, a water mount with me right now. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. There is. There is. There, there's another one. Is it, like, a diving platform? Like, we? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, so. Oh, you can actually get on board this one. Rose incense. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Sure. Okay, I really... Why did this guy have to go across the ocean? Like, seriously, what is that? Whoa! 
Two metal cows? Where did they come from? What? Did he, like, come through here, take a couple of things and then just drop things like that? What is that? Shiny magic card belt? Woo! That's cool. I would go in there and just grab stuff, but it's probably already looted. And even if it's not, I don't really have much space left in my, my inventory. So, okay, we, we, we seem to be going, like, a different way from where we was originally. Uh, but it's still pointing in this direction, so. Finally, we are here at this guy's frigging house. Wow, that took absolutely forever. That was just... The Hallowed Mansion, yes. Hello, Cheshire, I'm at your mansion. You are not here right now. I am the only one on the server. So, this is chest for, like, all these. It's got a nice little decking area right here. It's got some bread, some more stuff, uh, some, like, purple cactus stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know what that is right there. But it's something inside his house that's just glitching out. Uh, so yes. Uh, huh. Let's actually enter this place and see what's here. It's a little bit bare. There's not much decoration. Whoa. What is that? Is that for Zygarde? Cool. Insert Pokemon. There's nothing even inside of it. Oh, that's purple. Nice. Let me just, uh, you know, do this real quick. Okay. He has an end chest. Uh, he has like all these vases and stuff, or relic stuff, uh, fridges, and this here. Okay. Wait a minute. How do we get to his second floor then? Because he definitely has like a second floor. I haven't seen his second floor. How do you get up there? How does one get up there? Is there like a ladder or a something? How do we get there? Oh, that's what that does. Oh, I never knew. That's freaking creepy. You can just look out the window and ow. Huh. Ooh, they're nice. Nice banners. So this is like his little gaming room. That's kind of cool. His little office. He's got a telly on. We'll turn it off for him. Save a bit of electricity. So clearly he still has uh, some decorations to uh, do or whatnot. Wait, is that another one? No? Okay. So, I don't know. This is Cheshire's house. He, uh, it really made me go all the way over here. Okay. Well, in that case, let me uh, make a thing. I don't know what that is right there. Oh, it's about Cheshire wrong. Cheshire. Happy birthday, G Dude 2002. I don't know who that is. Who is who is G Dude 2002? I'm not gonna click on that because it'll probably like bring up my internet. And I don't want uh, my uh, Google Chrome or something. And I don't want it to do that. But uh, yeah, this is this is his house. This is his area. I hate him for making me travel all the way over here. And oh, we've got to kill a a Lechonk whilst we're here. We, we just have to. Leaf blade. Woo. Okay, so that is actually going to do it for this episode. Please like and subscribe. It's always free. And I'll see you later.